In my last video, we were doing wireless DMX and we were using this guy right here, the RGBW4C from American DJ. Now what this is made for is to control your quad LED fixtures. Whether they're RGBW white or RGBA amber, it doesn't really matter. It's for anything that's quad LED. Very nice piece. I'm gonna take you through this right away and show you how it works. All right, quick overview. Something cool about this controller is you can assign up to eight different fixture addresses. So if you had eight different up lights, you want them all to do something different, you just assign each light to the desired address. So I usually will probably put them all on address one so they'll all do the same thing because that's how I like to up light. But for demonstration purposes today, I've created fixtures one and two. So I have to come up to this fixture bank and find my lights. This button's for one and five, this button's for 2 and 6, 3 and 7, and 4 and 8. Hit this button one time, I have fixture 1. Two times, I have 5. Three times, 1 and 5. Four times, they're both off. So today I want to select fixtures 1 and 2. Hit the blackout button, and they come on, and they're doing a chase right now. So just for demonstration purposes, let's say I only want to look at fixture number 2. I simply turn off 1, Hit the button, and I'm only working with fixture two. Back to where we were to begin with. Now this is a chase, and you can adjust that chase right here. You can make it really fast, you can slow it down, whatever you want to do with these two levers. You've got speed and fade time. Speaking of fade, we have RGB fade. You can absolutely do that. You can do slow fades, you can do fast fades, whatever you want to do. There's also a sound active and a strobe, which is kind of fun. Manual RGB from the strobe off. This, of course, lets you control independently. You gotta do this sometimes with uh, DMX stuff. Red, green, blue, and of course, white. Alternately, you've got these color buttons over here that you can hit and do different colors. Built-in colors. Now, let's say that you want a custom color and you want a button for it. Let's say you want an amber. You can absolutely achieve amber with red and green as long as they're within the same diode. Kind of like these. These are quad LEDs, tri LEDs, same thing. All you have to do is do a lot of red. There we go. And then some green. That looks like a nice amber right there. If I want to save it, all I have to do is choose one of these three preset buttons down here at the bottom. Press and hold it for three seconds. Everything flashes and my color has been saved. So, red, cyan, magenta, white, purple, and there's our amber. Pretty cool, huh? I've noticed a lot of you are getting into this kind of stuff for the very first time. You go out and buy stuff and you're not sure how to hook it up. So here, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to address your lights and use this system with an American DJ Quad LED. The first thing you're gonna have to do on all of your fixtures is make sure that they are in channel four mode. So on this particular light, we got a mode button. We hit it until we see the screen right here. A something, something, something. This is the DMX addressing screen. We'll get to that in a minute. Right now we need a channel mode screen. So we hit setup one time and we're in channel mode screen. This is on channel eight. So we need to go down to four. Each and every one of your lights needs to be that, channel four. Now let's go back to the addressing screen by hitting the setup button one time. If you're going to be like me and run all of your lights the same way all night, you don't want independent fixtures, you want everything to do the same thing, I would recommend that you make each of your fixtures addressed to one. Right there. Now if you want to take advantage of the independent fixture mode, you can run up to eight independent fixtures on the RGB W4C. You're going to have to give each light a unique address. Now each light is going to occupy four DMX channels. So your first light is going to occupy one, two, three, and four. So your second light is going to have to be five. This light's going to occupy five, six, seven, and eight. So your third light needs to be nine. This is going to occupy nine, 10, 11, and 12. So your fourth light needs to be 13. Your fourth light's going to occupy 13, 14, 15, and 16. So your fifth light is going to be 17. Your fifth light is going to occupy 17, 18, 19, and 20. 
So your sixth light is going to be 21. This light's going to occupy 21, 22, 23, and 24. So your next light is going to be 25. There it is. This is going to occupy 25, 26, 27, and 28. So your next light would be 29. Some of you bought lights where you cannot adjust the channel mode. They're either in 6 or 8 or 12 or whatever they're in, and you don't have any options. Unfortunately, you're not going to be able to use the RGBW4C. That's the advantage of buying your premium lights. You go for the real expensive stuff, you're limited ultimately when it comes to control. So there it is, the RGBW4C from American DJ. If you have any questions, let us know right down here in the comment section. I'm going to enjoy the day. Practice and enjoy.